What's up guys? I'm here in beautiful Beverly Hills and you're probably wondering how I got this house. Well, Amazon FBA, of course. I actually have my own course to teach you how to be a millionaire like me. It's only $5,000 a month, 12 easy payments. You'll get there in no time and I'll teach you everything you need to know. All right, all right, stop right there. No, I'm not actually selling any courses. This is, was just a joke. I wanted to make a point though. I wouldn't spend any money on courses and I never had and I'm still successfully selling on Amazon, on FBA. In this video, I'm gonna show you uh, kind of like the basics on how to start opening an account, uh, maybe finding products on Amazon to sell. I waited until I sold at least $10,000 in two weeks that was kind of like my goal. I wanted to make this video for a very long time, but I didn't want to make a video showing you guys uh, what I learned without having good experience myself. Now I want to start with finding a product, just a random one, just to make a video about it. Uh, so I'm going to go to 99 cent store. We're going to go together. All right, guys, we're at 99 cent store. I found the perfect product, this blue collar for dogs, extra large, and I found it on Amazon for $9.99. There's eight of them over here. I tried to look for other products, but they're not listed on Amazon yet, and I don't want to go through it. I want to keep it simple. So list items that are already listed this time. All right, guys, we're back from the cent store. I spent $8.76 on those eight items. Let's go list them on Amazon. First step is to sign up to sell.amazon.com. You register as a seller. You can also use your existing amazon.com account so to start selling. And as you can see on the pricing, I'm gonna to go to cost overview. So there's selling plans starting with a dollar per item that you sell, plus selling fees. And there is the professional plan from Amazon. It's $39.99 per month with unlimited amount of items you can sell. That's what I'm using. So I went to a catalog and then I clicked on add product. So in here, we will find the product we wanna sell. All right guys, so here's the product we found on 99 cent store. This is a dog collar, we got eight of them. So what I'm gonna do now is actually look for it. I can look for it using the UPC code in the back or I can just type it in and find it. All right, so I found it already over here. I'm gonna click on it to open it to see how it looks like on Amazon. As you can see on Amazon, someone is already selling it for $9.99 prime free shipping. So we need to sell it for at least that price or less. But we're gonna go for the same price because I think, um, you know, if they run out, they'll sell yours right away. So we'll do it $9.99, but you can even go lower than that. So I'm gonna go ahead and click new and click on sell this variation, okay? And this will create a new product for me. I'm gonna go ahead and put $9.99 or even $9.49 to try to do a competition for the price and maybe they'll buy mine and not the other customer. And I'm gonna set it as new. And this time I'm gonna choose Amazon will ship and provide customer service. This is what, this is what FBA is. Uh, you can always do it yourself, so you ship it yourself. I think it's much better to do it through Amazon. I get much more sales, it's a lot more organized, and much less work for me. All right, so let's click on save, and we're pretty much done. Now the product is in the system. I always use Amazon barcode. I like to repackage every single product I get and print little labels and put them on the box or the bag, whatever I use to package them. I feel like it's safer that way. I get less confused about which product is which. So I always choose Amazon barcode. You can also use the manufacturer barcode, which means uh, you're gonna pretty much ship it to it like this and Amazon employees will scan this one to know it's the right product, but I always like to repackage my products. I always do it. Um, so I'm gonna click on save and continue. They asked me about some information, if there's any battery in it. Obviously there's no battery, there's nothing dangerous about it. So I'm gonna click next. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click save and continue. Make sure the product is new when you select it. Now right away, it asked me to ship the product to Amazon. What I'm gonna do right now is actually start the process but not finish it all the way because I wanna combine it with other products. In my case, I actually have a hundred other products I want to ship to Amazon. So this eight products will be included in my 100 products and I'll save money that way in one box. Continue to shipping plans. Now I'm going to click on eight because this is how many items we have. I'm going to hit continue and ask again, you know, who's going to prep it? No prep needed. Like I said, I'm going to be doing all the prepping. Now it's time to actually print out the labels for this product. 
and this is where uh, things getting a little bit more interesting. So you can always print those labels on a piece of paper and just straight up cutting them one by one with scissors, but that's too much work. So I'm actually using this 32 label uh, paper that's also a sticker. You can find it on eBay and on Amazon, it's really, really cheap. I mean, this one has 100 pages, it's 3,000 labels. So I'm gonna go ahead and load the printer with one sheet of paper, of the sticker paper right here. And I'm gonna put it upside down. All right, here it is. Those are the little stickers that I'm gonna use for the product. Okay, now that we printed the labels, they're already here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make a quick uh, recording of how I package them to make them ready for Amazon. So we can also get the other products ready and combine them together, show you how I save money combining shipments together. Let's go. All right, so we have the eight of the dark colors here in front of me, and there's some envelopes. Those are regular, um, they're called zero envelopes, bubble wrap. And I always like to put my products in, especially small products, into their own packaging, even though you could just put them in there. So I'm gonna give it a little bend of the product, not a huge deal, and put it in here like this, and now it's all safe. If you want, you can add a little candy or you can add a little business card saying thank you and all that stuff too. And you go ahead and seal it. Now the next step is to take our label page and take one of the labels and go ahead and stick it right there. And that is how I ship all my products to Amazon and I just do it all over again. Repeat, repeat, repeat. And I'm gonna do this to all the products right now to have it all ready for me. All right, all the envelopes are all ready to go. Now we can move on to my second product. Then I'm gonna combine it with this. And we are ready to go to ship them all together to Amazon FBA. All right guys, we're all done with our envelopes as you can see here. Um, now it's time to create a shipment for this and later combine them together with other products to save us money. So we're gonna go back to FBA and click continue. We finish creating the labels, we ready, all the packages are ready to go. And now as you can see, it created one, two, three different packages. So one of them has four, one of them has one, and one of them has three. And as you can see, it's a little bit of a, not of a problem, but you have to pay for each one separately. And it started about $3.50 to up to $5 for each one. Sometimes I get lucky and they all get uh, in the same kind of shipment all together. It saves me a lot of money because as you can see here, that one product that I have, I'm probably gonna pay $4 just for that one product and maybe it's better to even cancel that specific shipment and ship one less because we're not gonna make any money paying $5 just to ship one of them to Amazon. But four items and three items, that makes more sense, especially because we're gonna add even more products uh, to our shipments all together. I'm gonna click on approve and continue and we're basically all done. Now I'm gonna do the same thing for my 100 <laughs> items that I still have to ship. So I'm gonna go ahead and package all of them, do this exactly the same thing, but this time I'm gonna try to use the same shipment already created and combine them all together and I'll show you how. I'm gonna go ahead and instead of creating a new FBA shipment, I'm gonna actually click on add to existing. As you can see in the existing, I have one that I'm working on, not shipped yet and there is 12 SKUs in there in one box. I'm gonna add it into that and click on approve and continue. Now I have all the products in one. I actually managed to put over 120 products in a single box and there's over 14 different SKUs in here. Now when you start out on Amazon, unfortunately you're only gonna have one SKU, maybe two SKUs, and you're gonna have to pay for each one of those to be shipped separately, kind of, you know, depending how many you have at a time. So you're gonna pay more, because each one is like four bucks, five bucks each item. Now for this, we'll see how much I pay for all of it at once. Now let's go to the box, put everything together, get the weight and size of the box, so we can see how much money we have to pay for the shipping to Amazon. All right guys, there's over 120 products here. Each one of them do have a label, I'm just not showing it right now. But all of them has labels, and now I'm gonna go ahead and add that one dog collar product that I don't wanna ship on its own, so then I save like five bucks by adding it here. And hopefully I can add as much as I can, you know, but 
you know, this box is obviously oversized. You don't have to worry about what kind of box it is and how pretty it is. They don't really care. They're going to open it and recycle this box anyway. This is just a box to get it to Amazon. They're going to unwrap it and not use this box. Now I'm going to add some bubble wrap to fill up all that space for that box. As you can see, it's super tight. I want to make sure it's really, really good so nothing moves. All right, the box is ready. Now we have to check what the weight is. So let's go get the scale. I'm gonna put the box on the scale. The weight comes up to 14 pounds and 10 ounces. I always round up because they're very strict on Amazon. So this is 15 pounds. I'm now gonna use a measuring tape to measure the size. And again, I'm gonna add an inch to it because they always get me like twice I had to pay $25. So it says 20 and a half. I'm gonna call it 21 inches by 16 by 26 we're back on the computer the weight is 15 pounds measurement is 21 by 16 by 26 so 21 by 16 by 26 and i have all those products in no problem and we also have that dark color in there i'm going to click on confirm from here i'm going to click on calculate this will calculate how much money i'm going to pay for shipping it's actually come up to $10.94. $10.94 divided by 123 products. That's how much products I have in that one box. It comes up to nine cents per product to ship those products to Amazon. This is an amazing price. It means I don't have to package and ship it and the customer can get it in one or two day shipping. In the beginning, I actually paid hundreds of dollars worth of shipping because I only had one or two items or three items and each one had to be shipped to a different fulfillment center so each one is like five bucks five bucks five bucks two three times a day it comes up to hundreds of dollars a month but now i know how to do this sometimes it's even worth it to wait a few days make sure you have a bunch of products all in one and you save a lot of money that way let's click on agree to the chargers so that means i'm going to pay for it i'm going to choose the shipping date as today the 6th wednesday january 6th and I'm choosing thermal paper because I have a thermal printer. It's very worth it to have a thermal printer because it saves you a lot of money and time because those rolls, you can actually get them for free. And that's a different video. All right, look how fast those labels print. I'm hitting print right now and look at this. Bam. And there's two labels here. It's blurry, I don't wanna show you all the info, but one of them is for FBA, one of them is for UPS. And they just, I stick them right next to each other so then Amazon can process the products and UPS can process the shipments. There's no real science to this, you know, it's just a sticker. I put it in one and then number two and this will go out to Amazon. The box is not perfect, but it doesn't really matter as long as it's solid and it will keep the inside safe. Some people use recycled stuff. I use recycled stuff all the time because to save money, why not? They're gonna recycle this box anyways. Thank you guys so much for watching. That's the end of the video. I really recommend you guys to find a product that you enjoy using and sell that product. Something that, you know, if, it's, if you like dogs or if you take care of a lot of dogs, maybe that dog collar works. But it really depends on you. For me, that product doesn't work because I love computers, I love technology, and that's what I'm selling. So that's not a product I personally would sell. Please smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. This will help me a lot so more people can see this video and learn about Amazon FBA. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet to How Much YouTube channel for more videos like this. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.